Well, you know, this was very interesting. Um, when I first took over the show, I um, one of the first things I did was meet with Lisa Bonet. And I adored her from the Cosby Show. I adored her. And um, she secreted to me that she was actually pregnant. She had married Lenny Kravitz. And, you know, I guess Bill had his feelings about that because he was possessive in a way. Mm -hmm. I mean, they were his on-camera wife and children, but they still were his. I mean, the way he was with Felicia, too. I mean, that's a whole nother story. Um, she told me she was pregnant, so I said, well, listen, we have to go tell him. So I said, honey, put some shoes on. Don't come up there barefoot. Let's get your best dress. Let's comb your hair, and let's go see him, and let's tell him together. So we got dressed. We went up there, and ooh, he could see us coming. He saw us a mile away coming. He could see us coming. And he sat there and looked at us. And I said, well, we have some things that we want to tell you. He said, what is it? Are you pregnant? And they were like, oh, my God. He said, well, what's so different about it? You got, he looked at me. He said, you were pregnant. Your sister got pregnant. And so now what? And I said to him, I, I explained to him how I wanted to use it on the show. Because that would be a great thing to see a girl who's upper class kid having a baby, not married because she didn't want to be married. Mm. And the girls could root for her. I, I was explaining all that we could do. Well, honey, that was just, I was blowing smoke and I didn't know it. So he listened to all of that. I got put in place as the new person in charge. We started talking about stories. And then immediately, maybe about two or three weeks later, he says, you know what, Debbie? No. Um, she's pregnant. Denise Huxtable is not pregnant. Lisa Bonet is pregnant, not Denise. So no, no, you can't have it. No, we're not going to do it. No. So he took her back. I was so mad at him. I wanted to take her, but I understood. He just wanted her back. Um, I thought it would have been great to see that storyline. But So she left us to go back home. And then she ended up getting married on the show over there. And, you know, whatever happened over there. So she left the show. And then I also had um, Marissa Tomei. Marissa Tomei was the only white character on the show. I was excited by that because I was looking at I was looking at it as the opposite from my own personal experience. I had been the only black kid in a ballet school, the only black kid, the only you know, da, da, da. So what must that be like? Because when I went to Howard University, we had one white student, talented, and that would be very interesting. I had pitched an I had even pitched the idea of Dwayne Wayne taking her home for Thanksgiving dinner and her mother being furious that there's a white girl in the house. Ooh, you know, let's just see the other the you know the other side of racism because it does go both ways. Let's be clear, it does go both ways. But so we didn't get to do that. 